Shalom, and thank you for joining us at YHWHY for the adventures. And we are going to be reading from the Aleph Tov Sefer, the Sefer of the Nabim, the prophet of Nahum, or Nahum. Chapter 1. The Burden of Ninoah. The Sefer of the Vision of Nahum, the Elekshi. El is jealous, and Yahuwah revenges. Yahuwah revenges and is furious. Yahuwah will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserves wrath for his enemies. Yahuwah is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahuwah, who ha his way is in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry and dries up the rivers. Bashan languishes and Carmel and the flowers of Lebanon languishes and the mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Yahuwah is good, Tov, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and the darkness shall pursue his enemies. What ye do ye imagine against El Yahweh? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. For while they be folded together as thorns, sin, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble, fully dry. There is one who come out of you that imagines evil against Yahweh, a wicked counselor. Thus says Yahweh, Though they keep quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down. When he shall pass through, though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. For now I will break his yoke from off you, and will burst your bonds in sunder. And Yahuwah has given a mitzvot, a commandment, concerning you, that no more of your name shall be sown. Out of the house of your Elohim will I cut off graven images and the molten images. I will make your grave, and for you are vile. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that brings good news, Bashar, that publishes shalom, peace. O Yahuda, keep your solemn feasts, your Moedim, perform your vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through you. He is utterly cut off. Nahum chapter 2. He that dashes in pieces is come up before your face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make your loins strong, fortify your power mightily. For Yahweh has turned away Aleph Tav at the excellency of Yaakov as the excellency of Yisrael. For the emptiers have emptied them out and married their vine branches. The shield of his mighty men is made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chariots 
shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, and the fir tree shall be terribly shaken. The chariots ra shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings. He shall recount his worthies. They shall stumble in their walk. They shall make haste to the wall thereof, and the defense shall be prepared. The gates of the river shall be opened, and the palace shall be dissolved, and not sad shall be led away captive. She shall be brought up, and all her maids shall lead her as with the voice of doves, tabering in their breasts. But Nineveh is of old, like a pool of water, yet they shall flee away. Stand, stand, shall they cry, but none shall look back. Take ye the spoil of silver, take the spoil of gold, for there is none end of the store and glory out of the pleasant furniture. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melts, and the knees smite together, and much pain is in all loins, and the face of them all gather blackness. Where is the dwelling of the lions, and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion, even the old lion walked, and the lions whelp, and none made them afraid? The lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps, and strangled for his lioness, and filled his holes with prey, and his dens with raven. Behold, I am against you, says Yahweh Tezavot, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions, and I will cut off your prey from the earth, Eretz, and the voice of your messengers shall no more be heard.